when comparing the Iraqi dinar IQD and the Zimbabwean dollar ZWD as investment options, several factors need to be considered, Iraqi dinar IQD. Economic Potential Iraq has significant oil reserves, which could support long-term economic growth. The Central Bank of Iraq has been working to stabilize the currency and improve its value. Stability the IQD has seen some stability due to government interventions, such as securing dollar cash supplies from the U.S. Federal Reserve. However, it still faces challenges like inflation and economic instability. Market Accessibility The IQD is not widely traded on the global market, which can limit its liquidity and make it a less attractive option for some investors. Zimbabwean Dollar ZWD Economic Challenges Zimbabwe has faced severe economic issues, including hyperinflation, which led to the abandonment of the original ZWD. The country now uses a new version of the ZWD, but confidence in the currency remains low. Stability The ZWD has a history of extreme volatility and instability. The government has made efforts to stabilize the currency but it remains highly susceptible to economic fluctuations. Market accessibility, similar to the IQD, the ZWD is not widely traded internationally, which can pose liquidity challenges for investors. Investment considerations Risk, both currencies carry high risk due to their respective economic and political environments. The IQD might have a slight edge due to Iraq's oil reserves and ongoing stabilization efforts. Liquidity Neither currency is highly liquid, making it difficult to trade them on the global market. Potential returns The potential for high returns exists but is accompanied by significant risk. Investors should be cautious and consider the broader economic context of each country. In conclusion, both the Iraqi dinar and the Zimbabwean dollar present high-risk investment opportunities. The IQD might be slightly more stable due to Iraq's oil reserves and recent stabilization efforts, but both currencies require careful consideration and a high tolerance for risk. Do you have any specific investment goals or concerns you'd like to discuss further?